Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today I'm going to show you something all at once, and then later I plan to go into more detail about some of the specific items with their own video. This summer, the plan is still that I will deploy to the Middle East as part of my job, despite the current situation. This might be happening on time as planned, it may be delayed, or it may even be cancelled. Deployments are a good thing because I'm a soldier. Deployments like this are why I joined, and it makes me very happy to have an opportunity to put my training to its intended use. Making videos and growing this YouTube channel also makes me very happy, despite the obvious roller coaster that following something like Star Citizen has turned out to be. A critical part of any longer deployment away from where you're used to is to quickly get into a healthy routine. That's waking up early, eating on time, calling home regularly, staying in shape, staying social outside of work, and of course grounding whatever free time that you may have by doing something familiar. I plan to distract myself by making video content for you, wherever time permits, and to do that it became clear that I needed to find a portable workstation. A strong workstation and a strong gaming PC often have similar spec parts. Running Adobe Premiere or running Star Citizen for example, both make very good use of a strong CPU, a strong graphics card, lots of RAM and quick storage. The main gear element that was just delivered is the laptop that I will deploy with. It has a 6 core 9th gen Intel i7, an RTX 2070, 32 gigs of RAM on a 1920x1080 144Hz IPS screen. It's also configured with 4TB of NVMe SSD, so no need for external drives, everything is stored right on the computer. So on paper, quite the workstation. It's made out of magnesium, offering a solid frame, allowing it to weigh less than 2kg, and it's 2cm tall when close. That's less than an inch. When I was doing research, its small size, lightweight, huge battery, and the performance was a major factor. I render videos in Audition, Photoshop, and Premiere. Just to see how strong the laptop was, the last playthrough of Half-Life Alex that was over an hour long was actually both rendered and recorded on that laptop. Telemetry posted frames that never went below 75 with an average of 119 when attached to a Valve Index. For productivity at home, I know I'm spoiled. I knew that going from two 49 inch screens down to one 15 inch screen would really mess with my workflow, so I added an Asus Zen screen. It's a one wire IPS portable folio monitor. It gets power and signal from a single USB-C wire, a driverless IPS 1080 screen that complements the laptop at exactly the same 15.6 inch size. It's only one centimeter tall when flat, protected on both sides with the included folio type cover. Both the laptop and the screen are only three centimeters tall when stacked together, perfect for travel. Audio will probably be handled by a FIO DAC and a set of closed back Shure 840s. I don't actually plan to travel with many of the extras that you see here, this was just a test. I have two Verpal Alpha grips mounted to a MonsterTech Revision 2 chair mount. The position is perfect and the grips are held in place like you would expect from MonsterTech. Solid. I'm getting over 75 frames per second in Arena Commander, which I was not expecting on a laptop. I'm testing a Move Master and its auxiliary module. Move Master is an FPS palm mounted controller, which is optimized for FPS. I'm playing Borderlands 3 now that it's out on Steam. I have about 20 hours logged and I'm going to say that the position is really natural and I'm going to make a video just about Move Master. I had Track IR running, I had Game Glass running, and I was truly shocked by the gaming performance. The thermals are really good on the laptop, it does sound like it's trying to take off under load. For a baseline, I tested the render time of the same video project on my laptop against my system. Again, there's going to be another video just about that, but I was really shocked about how close the performance of the portable was to the desktop. In closing, I wanted to thank the support of the patron backers, specifically singling out Deadlift, Not Last, and Shrikewell. It's an expensive piece of gear that's going to allow me to work while I'm away from home for six months. I also wanted to thank Brent from Main Gear in helping me piece together this fantastic deployable workstation. If you're interested in an upgrade to help pass your time, please use the link in the description. Please stay tuned for that Monster Tech review on the chair mount, the Move Master, and the performance breakdown of the laptop against my desktop. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.